time, instead of naming the word, I want you to point to the word. Again, Joe sees two words simultaneously. Bell goes to his non-speaking right brain. Music to his speaking left brain. When asked to point to a picture of what he saw, he chooses Bell. But when asked why... Yeah, why'd you pick that one? Use it. Music. And when asked and to explain... It was music and Bell and... It was a few minutes ago, the last time I heard any music was coming from the bells out here. Uh-huh. Banging away. So the bells yeah. outside here? So, look good enough answer to me. What's extraordinary is that Joe's speaking left brain concocts a plausible story of why he pointed the bell, even when some of the other pictures more obviously represent music. Gazaniga believes this determination to find cause and effect, this desire to explain, is the left hemisphere's most marvelous property. One of the unique things to the human brain is this need to interpret why two events occurred. What was the antecedent of this? What caused this? Mm -hmm. And if you can imagine that a, that a species like us that has that little chip in its brain that asks those questions is going to survive rather well because it's going to figure out more about the nature of the world than a, than a species that doesn't have that. 